Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Dark Pictures 2 Little Hope. My name is The Flutter's Bird, and this is your Story Based Game Channel. And that's our first jump scare of the game. Alrighty, right at the tall screen. Not wasting any time at all, apparently. Uh, so we just completed Man of Madon uh, three times. Well, more than three if you count the repeated playthroughs of our first run. Uh, but we played through to get everyone alive. We played through to get everyone killed. And then we played the Curator's Cut. So now we're playing the second game in the series. The third game will be out sometime, sometime soonish. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but I'm surprised they don't have it up here yet, all the way to the right. Um, but I believe it's called, well, I forgot the name of it. I'll look it up. But yeah, so the third game is coming out soon. But for me, I'm really, really excited to play Resident Evil Village. And in order to set the mood for Resident Evil Village, we're playing through the Dark Picture Saga. Uh, so we're going to start a solo story, of course. And we're going to start a new story. And we're going to jump right in. New save data. By the way, don't forget to set the mood. Turn off the lights. Put on a set of headf headphones. And just let the world immerse you in the story that it's telling. Little Hope. Now we do know the town is called Little Hope, I do believe. Broadside Diner, 9.42 p.m. present day. The Wild Magic. So if you're wondering, I have not seen any trailers on this game at all. The only thing I know about this game is it's made by Supermassive and it's the second Dark Picture game. That's it. Oh yeah, and we saw the trailer. Actually, no, I take that back. I saw the trailer at the end of Man of Madon, so I guess we did see a trailer. The one change I made for this series is uh, the sound and music on 70 in Man of Madon. I turned it down to 65, which is a slight decrease because sometimes this game has really sharp sound effects and it can drown out everything else. And then other times it's really, really quiet. It's really hard to get a balance for this game. What's going on, officer? Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. You're right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. That right there looks like something out of it. <laughs> it's not good. It's just not good. This looks like we're driving a school bus, but... <laughs> you rub that chip any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. How long have you been sober? A few days. 
is shy of three months. Impressive. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. I've never played Silent Hill. I would like Going to one day. Away. It's fine, just a quick detour. But you it's and I know fine. about Calm fog. Down. It's all okay. Oh, hey. please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? <laughs> See what I mean by the sound? Bearing updated? How could the bearing be updated? I haven't actually done anything yet. I've made absolutely no choices in the game so far. And yet the bearing updated. Cold, wintry town? I grew up in a place that was a lot like that, except Stop it, James. A lot smaller. You know, I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. And a lot poorer. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory- You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Hmm. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together family. is far from nothing <laughs> in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough this You're not is the me? only one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. Jeez. <laughs> Dude, there's a phrase. It's called all things in not moderation. Tonight. No way. Stop drinking so much. It's okay to have a beer every once in a while. It's okay to have a couple of beers once in a while. But don't get drunk and act like an idiot. Anthony, Clark Family Home, Massachusetts. 10 is late. PM. She always is these days. Ooh, a new little spinny thing. By the way, I grew up in uh, Connecticut, so I'm from the New England States. Terse, give her a break, indifferent. She's always been late. What do we know with these kids? Absolutely nothing. Uh, so how do we know what to say? Um, uh, I, I mean, I don't know anything about these kids. And they're not even letting me look at anything about these kids. New, the little girl. Girl stood in the road, calls the bus driver to lose control and crash the bus. How many, what are we supposed to do about that? Um, you know what, since I don't know anything, I'm going to say nothing. I think that's a good way to begin the playthrough. Why is this here? Only released last year. Even a no-taste hardhead like you will appreciate this. Going to be huge. <clears throat> I really hope we don't have to save the dad in this game. Hey, Bigfoot! Mind the goddamn vinyl, will ya? Dude, don't be... Yeah, don't be a jerk. Um, but at the same time, I don't wanna... I mean, he's probably my brother, right? That's kind of a powerful language. There's no need to be so tough on her. It was an accident. Everything Megan does is an accident. <sighs> Our brother's already showing himself to be kind of a jerk, isn't he? Ice. The whole family seems messed up. Number one dad. I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again? They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? And I'm pretty sure I think I said this guy was the kid's dad. I meant to say it might be his sister. 
Uh, resentful. Died some drinking. Disappointed. Some dad we got. Okay, so this is his sister. Uh, disappointed. He nearly fell through the front door. Some dad we got, huh? They're always fighting these days. Getting predictable. Like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the 10 million time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought-after collection. <sighs> this whole family dynamic probably could be better I think if... she was a marine sergeant of past life. What's crawled up his ass? Desmond Dennis? Annoyed. Kind of annoyed, to be honest. Kind of annoyed. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. He's being even more annoying than usual tonight. A real jerk. So what else is new? Hey, Dennis. Okay, that's real creepy music. Hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. Crazy. What is going on here? <laughs> Jesus. Oh. God. Jesus. You scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. So I had the sound of music down at 6.5, and when that screeched, it still blew out my eardrums. Some really creepy stuff Maybe already. you should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Uh, aggressive? No, not aggressive. Concerned. Ooh, I want to check on her, but I don't want to sound concerned. Especially with that response. Um, oh, uh, but I don't want to say nothing either because that sounds rude. I don't like either one of these choices. Uh, I definitely want to go check on her, but I don't want to sound aggressive. How do I say this? Um, we'll just kind of say it. Megan's gone upstairs. Maybe you could go check on her if you don't have other plans. I'll go find her. Not really the way I wanted to say that. But then again, it kind of shows you the family dynamic. Oh, okay. We can probably move. That's good. We got some matches. Lighting the burners. Making some tea, I guess. That one right between Cheever's legs when he fell six inches off the ice and Cheever started to go down. Press X in time with heartbeat. But it may change the triangle? What? Don't do that to me, game. Especially since this triangle is on the other side of the keys. Oh god. I swear, later in the game, it's probably gonna go back and forth in between each one, and I'm gonna fail it so easily. Still better than keeping the controller still, though. You need to keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. Sarcastic? Can't imagine why. Reassuring. I'm reassuring. It's okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. You want to try raising a family like this? Tanya. The devil himself would struggle with you guys. It's a great name, Tanya. Totally different from Tanya. Here's the other move. Check on Tanya. 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 Keep wanting to say Tanya. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is look for shinies. Um, actually got a house to explore now. OK, 
Okay, door is locked. It actually tells us it's locked. That's kind of cool. What is this? People name, Megan Clark. Um, attendance, number of days, oh my god. Oh, number of days, oh my god. <laughs> I thought that first line was number of days absent. I was like, she's been absent for 173 days? No. Uh, she's been absent seven days, but she's been tardy 18 days. Probably due to, whoa. Wow. Megan is in even more trouble than I thought. That's not good at all. That's a lot of F's, that's a lot of D's, and I see one A, and it's in music. <sighs> Even Phys Ed, Phys Ed is like one of our worst classes. Oh wait, science is worse. How do you have an E? That doesn't make any sense. There's an E in science, but look to the right where the explanation marks are. They have A, B, C, D, and F. And by the way, this is a really tough school to have a 70 or below be a failure. Um, you know, in most schools here in America, uh, 6, uh, 59 and below is an F. A D is 60 to 70, or 60 to 69, C, 70 to 79, B, 80 to 89, A, 90 to 100. This is a really tough school they go to. And some colleges, they use E's instead of F's. But I've never seen a report card that's had an E and an F. Son of a bitch clock. I hate that clock. I hate you, clock. I don't really see anything. By the way, the movement feels a lot more um, in control than in Man of Madon. Like, moving around feels more natural. But then again, in Man of Madame, we were stuck in a ship. So, it's really not a lot of places you can move. Anthony! Where the hell are you? Probably... Anthony! Where are you, goddammit? Anthony! I'm getting really pissed off! How'd you get outside? You could be right about my family. I think so too. Oh, <gasps> Tanya! What the heck? What's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. Oh no! I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. No, if this movie wasn't so creepy, I would say it's awesome. Oh, this ain't good. Shit! Megan! You in there? The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious? Megan! He's up in the attic. Mom! Dad is strong. Mom's in the bathroom. Where the hell is everybody? Anthony! Help! 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 Oh! Anthony! Hey! Up here! You know, that's what, what kills the people in the fire. Up there? The smoke. I got trapped in the attic. Get to the balcony. Anthony, help! Hey, Dad! Dude, you need to take that thing and bust the window. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Dad! <laughs>
know this whole family was like messed up, but I want to see them all die. Uh, help Megan, help Tanya. Oh, oh my God. Um, the kid or your older sister? Uh, Tanya is up on the railing. She should be okay for now. Besides, left is always right, so go left. Tanya, hold on. I gotta get Megan out. Why are you up there? No! No! Why are you climbing back into the burning building? You're much better off jumping into the snow. destination movie except without the scene at the beginning that shows all the deaths what have you done mom you stop too late why would you run back in the house okay I was trying to save his mom I'll give him that. It's really noble, but... So much death. Yeah, you can say that again. So much death, exactly. Jesus. And we talked about the way Amanda Madan began with, you know, uh, everything going wrong, but... I mean, this just began completely wrong. Hello, Mr. Curator. Welcome back. I love that opening. It's really awesome. I, it, it, it's just good. So good. Hello, Mr. Curator. How are you Hello. doing? And welcome back. I have a new story for you. It's very different to the last. Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Mm -hmm. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire, no, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened. 
or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts. So much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? Depends on the situation, I think. There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. I don't think so. I don't think the pictures have ever helped me. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Because by the time you realize what the picture is mm. about, it's already too late. I do enjoy a good funeral. Yeah, I'm sure you do. All right, my friends. Well, this is the start of our blind let's play of Little Hope, the second dark picture anthology. And uh, so far, it's already begun with... Well, it's already begun with a, a blaze, apparently. And, you know, I have a feeling that this will all end in fire. And I guess it all began in fire, too. Wonderful. Uh, thank you so much for everything. I love you guys so greatly. Hope you're enjoying these uh, these wonderful Supermassive games. Thank you so much, Supermassive, for producing these games. It is really appreciative. Uh, until then, my friends, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.